From modest and humble beginnings to secret missions to being one of America's best resources for new technology, these valleys in East Tennessee have a rich and diverse history. We want to honor those who came before us. We want to keep our place in history alive by revealing the secrets of our hidden past. It's no secret that Y-12 is known as the Fort Knox for highly enriched uranium. But during the Manhattan Project, we had a whole other element to protect. AG on the periodic table, silver, and lots of it, 14,700 tons. You see, our mission back then was to separate uranium-235 from uranium-238 and the calutrons used to separate uranium isotopes required electrical conductors, usually copper. But it was wartime and copper was in short supply here at home. So in a solution only possible during wartime, the United States Department of the Treasury loaned silver bullion to Y-12. I, I think it was, it was about 600 million ounces roughly which in those days, a uh, dollar an ounce, the uh, silver was really cheap. That was about $600 million. Now when silver got up to uh, $10 an ounce, uh, see, that was $6 billion worth of silver. It's a very safe depository. It's, it's in a quarter-inch steel casing. Uh, once they were fabricated and the coil sealed, it's as safe a place to store as you can. The precious metal worked perfectly. After the war, all but 67 tons of the silver was returned to the Treasury Department. Those 67 tons remained here in Building 9731 for a more peaceful mission, separating isotopes for medical treatment and research. Finally, in 1970, all the silver was replaced with cheaper and now more available copper. But this replacement proved to be a challenge. I remember how <coughs> those silver coils in the Pollock plant were replaced when they, the uh, A.J. Mettler mm -hmm. uh, knocked out the ends of the buildings and reached in with their crane and lift them, lifted them out and then lifted the new ones back in. The winding is a ribbon. You've got almost a mile of that. So how do you get this out? So what they, they, they devised a, a big turntable cut the top off and then they just fed the thing through a set of shears and just kept it going on automatic process, shearing it in little three foot strips. Tons of silver came to Y-12 during the Manhattan Project and 30 years later, nearly all of it was returned. A loan from the United States government paid back with interest, a product to win World War II and isotopes for medical research.